Welcome back everybody to the second part of the tutorial. Uh, first off, I'm gonna render this Rolls Royce. Uh, what's using uh, the pen tool? I'm using the pen tool to render it. Really, a little cold. Uh, and I'm gonna use this in the background, uh, as you've seen in the pr preview on the beginning of the video. Uh, I'll place it behind uh, Nate Dark. I want to curve uh, this, so I'll click it once and then drag the uh, pen tool downwards to get a rounded shape around the thighs and everything. Zoomed it in. Uh, about uh, set to one hundred percent. So I zoom it in uh, to the original size. It's a high quality picture of a Rolls Royce. Uh, I love using high quality pictures, uh, but for this album album cover, I uh, didn't use a high quality picture from Maydark. Uh, I couldn't find any good. Uh, pictures were of him, uh, and the one I'm using uh, is the best that I found, but I couldn't find a high quality picture of it. Of it. Um, the size of that uh, picture was uh, around 720 or something. Uh, yeah. The album cover I'm making is 12 and maybe 80 pixels, so yeah, it isn't the highest quality uh, picture, but looks good. Uh, it's for this tutorial. It's good for this uh, tutorial. So I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't recommend it uh, using it uh, for your album uh, cover. Uh, I should go for a higher quality picture. We'll right click now and we're gonna select it and click OK. Do Control C to copy the render and do uh, make a new layer and do Control V to paste it in the whole color. Well, we're gonna resize it by holding shift and moving it downwards. Now I'm gonna uh, resize it a little bit to match up with the uh, depth of the background. I'm gonna create some depth in this tutorial also, so I will show you that in a second. Uh, I copied the layer and flipped it horizontal. I'm just using my keyboard now to move it, so it will be uh, in line with uh, other uh, Rolls Royce. It's an easy way to align everything. As you can see, uh, the album cover uh, isn't fully centered yeah, on the on the background, uh, but I would be uh, moving that upwards or uh, to the left a little bit. Uh, in the next tutorial about this. Uh, we're gonna change the color to black, and we'll set the layer to uh, overlayer. 
And we're gonna use a soft brush. So let's take that color over here. We're gonna use a soft brush and we're gonna highlight the dark colors, the dark shadows in the picture. Create some shadows behind me, dark on the car. And we're gonna drop down the fill to about 39%. Let's highlight some more. Create. I want to create every shadow uh, as deep as possible. So create some depth in the album color. Once we're done there, I'm gonna create a new layer and set it to overlay. And I'm gonna resize the brush and set it to white. And I'm gonna highlight the render of May Dark. So we're gonna highlight the render of May Dark. Um, going to make it a little bit brighter uh, to blend it in more. There's some prepared layers here on uh, reversedesigns.com. Uh, I have the PSD posted uh, in the forums. Um, also, we will be making uh, some new pages on reversedesigns.com for renders, PSDs, gets, uh, you name it, and it's on there. So don't, don't hesitate to re uh, register at uh, reversedesigns.com. Just playing with some effects, uh, see if I had some cool uh, renders and cats uh, and uh, fra fractals or whatever. Uh, And I have this uh, black splatter effect uh, that I downloaded from the internet. I uh, don't know where I got it from, but I will be posting that on Resource Designs account. I do not uh, take any credits for it, uh, for making it, so uh, I'm just using it in my tutorial. We'll be changing the background uh, to a different color. I'm just trying to uh, see how it looks the best. See what layer style looks best, like overlay or linear dodge add or. It looks pretty cool, but kind of like the white background. So I think we'll, uh, I, I will leave it like that. And 
uh, I will be rotating this uh, rotating at uh, vertical so go to transform then flip for uh, vertical I'm gonna remove the lower part of the cat or a uh, splatter, sorry. Ink splatter. I'm gonna re remove this part and I'm gonna fill it in with, white, uh, with a white color, same as the cat has, same color. Looks like it was never there. Alright, that's the first part. Now we're going to uh, deselect. Let's keep them there. We're going to duplicate that layer of the uh, ink splatter and we're going to move it and set it to. You want to sell and set it to uh, multiply. I want to just messing around a little bit, see how it looks best. And I'll set it to multiply and darken the color. Just gonna move this around like so, and we're gonna duplicate the layer and do that on the same uh, on the other side. Make dark on the right side. <coughs> so flip it horizontal, and we're gonna move it to the right. Like so. Gonna move the Rolls Royce down a bit. Looks pretty cool. I'm gonna open up. Uh, By the way, all resources of this tutorial will be posted on reversedesigns.com. I will post a, a link to it in the description of the video. Also, for the premium members on the reverse designs account, I will be posting a PSD file of uh, this uh, album cover. Just looking for some effects here. Uh, Will not be using them, but I'm just testing uh, how they look. Then uh, I'll see you in the next part of this tutorial. Thank you.